So we're going back to it. So do you speak, the, not, I'm not looking for names, are there other people who would have never thought about voting for Trump, celebrities who are either in sports or business I, or whatever Hollywood, do they call and say, Michael, what the hell is going on in New York? Pat, I can't, I can't speak on other celebrities. Now, I'm not you know, saying names, but are, nah, are those... I can't com- even say other names. I can't even say other names. Like I, but I could say this. There's a lot of people in the Jewish community uh, uh, that I've spoken to a lot that are like, I never, ever, ever thought... You know, some celebrities. Yeah, some celebrities. Yeah, some celebrities uh, uh, that I never thought I'd be at that point also. Ever. And they're like, they were hard body like me, like... F Trump, you know, uh, and all that stuff. Like never Trumpers, that's what you call them. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, I would say, in my world, and I could say, you know, two celebrities that pop in my mind that said, I, I never would have thought I would have even considered, and here I am. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. That, that's the reason that and I said, I'm, I think you're going to vote for Trump. And it's not even necessarily you. It could be any extension of you. Any reasonable person, especially Jewish, is going to look back and be like, the Jews are not voting. The, the, for, the, the, the we're not doing it. How about the congressional testimony uh, where the University of Presidents could it not condemn oh, Harvard genocide? And shit? Wait, Harvard? Harvard. And all, those, all the clogging Pat- gay going. There was hum- literally protesting, like supporting Hamas. And I think that exposed, like the Jewish community was like, what yeah, the, by the way, hell is here's going on I thought here? Of. Substitute any group. Any group. 100%. Other than Jews. We want to genocide all Mexicans, oh, all forget gays, it. Forget it. all blacks, all Asians. They would have been condemnation to the highest degree. But Jews, somehow it's acceptable. You, you know what? Why is it acceptable, Mike? You know why? Because we are the last acceptable group to publicly hate. You, you can't do it uh, uh, against LGBTQ. You get canceled. Bye. Uh, 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 black community, Asian community, disabled community. You can't say the R word. Mm-hmm. You you little person. You can't say the M word. There's there's a lot of things that where you if you say them. If I said it right now, yo, you're done. But you can openly hate Jews. We are the last acceptable uh, 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 group, community, religion, uh, race where it's where it's 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 it's. it's it's not only uh, acceptable, uh, uh, it's, it's sort of... No consequences. No con- it's, 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 you're emboldened to do it right now, particularly right now. That being said, I will say anti-Semitism, anti-Jewishness has been around forever. It's going to continue to go around, but it is extremely... It, 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 it's, 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 it's extremely um, disheartening... And 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 um, concerning and infuriating. What's the the not, you know, what's happened in, in to the real people, the victims is one thing, but but the Claudine Gays, the MIT woman who somehow still has a job, the Harvard woman, the people thinking that they could say, uh, "Get off my campus, Zionist." who can tell my friend in a, in a cafe in New Orleans, I'm not going to serve you because you're Zionist. All the, all the shit that we've seen, whether it's Zionist, anti-Jewish, all that stuff, that is, is, is a surprise. And it's, it's fucked up. <laughs> Rob, what's this year? Michael Rapport, Raelzing and Jewish, Talib, Omar, AOC, you're in government. So, so uh, uh, this is a, which story is this, Rob? Hmm. This is our this October is our regarding uh, yeah the I squad believe, right yeah there's and their support for Palestine in our government literally <laughs> and this is the uh, furthermore proof of why I don't think you can vote for the Democratic I, Party I, at this I'm point. not I'm not doing it I'm telling you I'm not doing yeah. it I ain't doing it I'm not with them I've I've been off of them I've, the, the, the AOC and I mean I can so go I got on. a question for you guys I got a question specifically for the two of you 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 and Michael and okay. everybody's like Rappaport's been red pilled <laughs> and I do I take two red pills in the morning two red pills in the night it's working for what it's in, for, you know, the red pills you know <laughs> they have been red pilled so let me ask you you know how in 1960 <clears throat> the whole Barry Goldwater where it used to be only you know 64 percent of African Americans would vote Democrat. By 1964, that 64% goes to 92% of blacks vote for Democrat because Democrats were brilliant in the way to pin Republicans as racist against blacks. And it lasted like that for decades till today, 60 years. It's lasted uh, like that till today. Do you think this is going to be the October 7th events going to be the type of an event where 
uh, where, right there, exactly, 1964, 92% uh -huh. voted for Democrat. Uh -huh. Look what it's been. Uh -huh. It's been anywhere between 84 to 92% voting for Democrat. They've owned, the Democrats have owned the black vote for decades. They've owned it for decades, right? Question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think the October 7th event and the way they've handled it, will it be in a way where there may be a massive exodus from Jews leaving the Democratic Party or no? You think it's still going to be the same? I do. I think that... You think uh, massive? Most, like a yeah. 10 plus percentage? I think way more than that. Oh, really? Because I'll tell you why. Um, I've had plenty of conversations with guys like Michael Rapport. Jewish guys, reasonable dudes, make their money, do their thing, good people, good family guys. And I say, what's up? You voting? And I know these guys, good friends. You're Jewish? Uh, yeah. And I, um, I said, could you vote? You're going to vote for Biden? You're going to vote for Trump now? What are they going to do? I mean, how many times have I had this conversation? They're like, yeah, I, I don't think I can do this thing. I didn't. Here's the biggest thing. We knew on the far right, we knew the, the Jews will not replace us, tiki tortured, cacus wearing, pig dick loving, ch ch those guys. Mm -hmm. We knew about those guys. And the Jews are just like, yeah, anything with the KKK, with the neo-Nazis, we ain't with that. But we had no clue <laughs> what was permeating on the left. And it's the difference between the left and the right is that it's in government on the left. The squad is, the squad is in government. <laughs> yep. When the Democratic Party, when, the, when they have votes to basically censure Rashida Tlaib for basically supporting Palestine, zero Republicans are with that. They're all like, yeah, we're out on this lady. Majority of the Democratic Party, they're like, yeah, we're... We're with her. We're cool. So from an infrastructure, from a systemic problem in, in government, in Congress, you just, as a Jew, you can't, you can't look at this and say, yeah, I'm, I'm with this. Nope. Because if you, if you are, that means you're just turning a blind eye nope. to everything that's happening. That ain't happening. And you have to. 100%. Just like the blacks basically were like, yo, we can't get with the Barry Goldwater thing. Civil rights, everything that changed in the early 1960s, changed the black vote. Uh -huh. This is going to change the Jewish vote. So you're saying it's going to be that big. I yeah. do. But listen, you know, 13% of this country is black. 1% of this country is Jewish. Yeah, but, but it's not, but a, big, it's no, not a big number, but, a difference. but they have a big voice. No, they, have a ve they have a massive voice. So a, a flip, <laughs> a, a fl it's kind of like saying, mm -hmm. I got a thousand people here in a room who are not on social media, but I got a thousand people here about to hear me speak. Mm -hmm. And then a guy on the other side says, yeah, I got a YouTube channel with 28 million subscribers. Uh, I'm willing to have you on the podcast. You got a thousand physical people. That guy's one person with the kind of influence to, you know, <laughs> sky. So for me, if, if, if this does happen, if it's a 10 plus percent mm -hmm. shift. Yeah, I believe so. That's more. That's not a ten percent plus shift because the influence they have. Yes. that's going to be astronomical shit. Yeah, but, well, look, but when, I, we, when we see the when we see the genocide Joe campaign on the left from the Hamas brigade, when we see this, and they're just like, we can't support Joe Biden. Anyone, anyone with normal uh, sensibilities is going to be like, okay, cool. Just help elect Donald Trump that moved the capital to Jerusalem. Okay, that will basically squash Hamas. So go ahead. Keep campaigning for Genocide Joe. The Democratic Party is your only chance left, <laughs> Hamas crew, to basically have a voice. Them? Do you agree with him on Trump it's going it to be a double-digit shift on the Jewish vote? I, I agree with him, yes. I, 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 I agree with him. I mean, listen, it's November when this is happening. Right now we're February. A lot of... Mm -hmm. A lot of different things can happen, but I, I, if it was today, next month, I would say 100%. But we've also been fooled by the Trump. Trump is a Hitler. He's loves yeah. Nazis. Well, it's like I, his, I daughter, know, nobody is Hitler. his daughter married an Orthodox well, Jewish guy called Jared Kushner. His, grand, well, his grandchildren are Jewish. This guy grew up well, in New York City in Staten Island. I believe it's Queens is where he's Queens. from. He's been around Jews his whole life. The fact that people think that Donald Trump is Hitler... Well, it's they so beyond. They me. would say that, but and I, I hate to be that guy, but I kind of don't. <laughs> we told everybody so. I didn't fall into the personality shit because I looked past all that. And I, I'm not special. I, I didn't go to college. How did how did oh, I know? Shit, Vinny. Yeah, thanks, Mike. But think about this. Think about it. The black the black vote, Killer Mike, all these people. Everybody's shifting, right? Ice Cube. Everybody's going Trump. The Jewish vote, as you guys are saying, as Jewish guys. It's a wrap, right? How are they going to... They know that they're losing. You know how they're going to keep on to it? The 22 million, Michael, that are coming in here illegally, those people are going to vote. I agree. That's their I only... People can't vote. Yes, they can't. How many states... Rob, how many states can vote with no ID, 
No, re- no mm-hmm. picture on the ID. What do you mean? You have no. to be registered. No, but I thought that was part of the deal. How the hell do no, they register? No, they come. Not, what, do you, what do you mean? How do they register? And in what state are they going to register? And we all know that California is going blue. We already know that. Well, Adam, they're going to flip Texas. Adam, uh, Rob, you have that video I that I sent you about Texas the voters was, was close Rob. last time. Yeah, ah. one, but uh, Pat, I sent Rob a, a, a Slack today, through. Rob. I sent Rob a Slack about there's a guy in Texas, Michael, going up to all these uh, migrants and interview them, asking them who they're going to vote for. Uh, where is? Is this it? No, that's not it. That's 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 an illegal that killed somebody, and the hits just keep on coming. Go up. Is that it? That's it right here. He's just going out to migrants. Pull out the twenty two. This is the votes. Ready? Yeah, they're illegals. Do you have to vote? Who will vote? Biden. He's helping us here. Biden. Look at Biden. He's the one who's helping us for Biden. Of course you are. Of course que por Biden. Of course. We're going to support the migrants. He's a very good person. No, Trump is another thing. Yeah, Trump's a different thing. It's votes. Do you have to vote? Because... Okay, well, but... I don't know what kind of policy, but any motherfucker that just crossed the border, barely speaks English, has no clue what the hell's going on in America that, that means, should not be able to vote. But Adam, but, but guess I what? Agree. The plan's working though. But hold on. What'd you guys think? Oh yeah, here. Voter identification laws in effect. A strict photo ID is the dark blue. Look at that. And then no document required to vote is gray, Adam. Look at that. And then ID required, no photo. Guess what? This is shady ass business. And this is exactly the reason the border is wide mm-hmm. open. And if you still are out there thinking it's a humanitarian and there, there's kids in cages, you're stupid. Because that that is the answer right there. Yeah, because they I've, know they're losing the black vote. They lost the Jewish vote. They're losing everybody. I've never understood the no ID thing. Dude, I need to go ID to go into a bar. I need to go yeah, ID to buy some liquor. Saying, I need man. to go buy ID to buy some cigarettes. <laughs> I need an ID to go anywhere. I need uh-huh. to go, I'm going to get... You need an ID to get on a plane. I need to get go to here to for uh, anything. To, to, uh, Orlando. But in order to vote, is that yeah. crazy? No crazy. ID needed. Why, explain crazy. that to oh, me. By the way, because yeah. IDs are racist. Apparently, it is, it is. It is. It is strategic, though. And FYI, your numbers wise, you need how many electoral? Two seventy. Seventy. Right. Christie's working on it. Do you know on the states how many states require no ID? I think it's like thirteen or fourteen. Of the twenty-two states that doesn't require uh, uh, an ID. I think 227 of the electoral are of those states. Isn't that weird? Did you like, did you did you get the numbers? It's the so majority. The, that's right. The 227 are from states that don't require documentation. Oh, so we're screwed. Well, that's, let me tell you something. <laughs> that's it. Republicans should be thanking their lucky stars or something called the electoral college. Because if it was a popular vote, you Gone. guys would get smoked oh, every forget single it. Oh, time. Forget so be it. Be thankful for the electoral. Yo, college. well, thank God. But I am happy that because Mike, I'm not, I'm not gonna front, bro. Like I, I don't know what video your what your uh, your wife's mom or whatever said, and th- I was just like any all of that negative p- Trump because I, I had to step back and realize that people were sold on it so much because everything told you CNN, MSM, the, the news. He's evil. He's this. He would do this. It's actually refreshing to see somebody go, holy shit, the, the grass was cut and now I can see the snakes because they're right in front of your face. And once it hits how home. Many, how many rap reports are out there? I think a lot. I think it's growing. <laughs> no, no, oh, me, me, oh. meaning not you, Mike. Oh. He's saying that are waking up to this. Oh, I, oh, I, I think, think it's it's a no, growing. What I mean is, yeah, I, look, to me, these guys are these guys are very similar because I remember first time I talked to him, first time I talked to Adam, he's like, hey, you know, uh, what if I come join the team by Tamen and, you know, I'm at a phase of my life and he's in Florida at the time and I'm in Dallas, Addison. So I came here because we were shooting a video, an ad video for one of our events, which we never ended up using the footage because it was uh, using it on a helicopter and, yeah. and it was at the same time. So I'm like, I'm not going to yeah, use the yeah. footage. And then I talked to him. I said, so tell me politically, where are you at? So, you know, I'm like, you know, uh, independent. And I said, so how do you feel about Trump? He's like, well, <laughs> you know, well, kind of this. And we just kind of, it was almost as if like, you know, and I'm like, okay, cool. Sounds good. And then you come, you talk, you kind of go through the process. I paid him $1,000 when Biden won <laughs> on a bet. I know. Paid him $1,000, okay? A lot of people and, did. Yeah. And uh, 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 the point, and then I'll go from there to here. How many people are sitting down saying, I have buyer's remorse, I want my vote back, or sitting there saying, I can't do this again for another four years? And I think what I've realized also, and this is something that you're going to have to deal with as well, is that, dude, you're never going to love the person, like if you're voting based on the personality, we would all vote for Justin Trudeau. He's nice. He's good looking. Mm-hmm. We'd all vote for Gavin because he's got great hair. 
But policies and personality are totally different. I think Donald Trump's personality is nails on a chalkboard. I, I He speaks, you know, Kamala Harris, that dirty bitch. Like, when he speaks, it's so inappropriate. It, like, the, the, the retarded stuff, the McCain stuff, I'm right there with you. But if you can look past the personality and look at the policies, that's what it matters for. You look at Joe Biden. I do it. People hate on Joe Biden. I'm like, he's just like an old, senile, nice guy. He's not some cruel, evil dictator. Like, I don't get the hate. I get that he's old and he's mm -hmm. decrepit and mm -hmm. you called him a... A cadaver Joe. A cadaver <laughs> Joe. Nice. Another good. stroke. Of Another good one. I mean, that's good the Lord. One. But when you look at the policies and the open border and the taxes and the LGBTQS, DEI driven ESG doctrine, All it's just that. hard to just be like, I want more of that, baby. So I'm a pol like, I've, and I've had to learn, Michael, Michael Rappaport. This was not me. I was just like, ah, I can't deal with Trump. Fuck him. But no, you have to look at things and be like, yeah, as much as he is nails trying to chop or you have to I think, go policy. I think I think you're gonna you're gonna decide for yourself privately when you're when you're by yourself, nobody is around and you'll you'll evaluate what's most important policy for you and then you'll you'll adjust accordingly. We still got a long ways to go. You said it right. We, we're we're, Mar we're, we're February right now. The game hasn't even started. Yeah. This is like the pregame. Before we get into it, so last time on Tuesday, we announced anybody that buys a, a uh, the future looks bright hats and the gear. And we said we want a million people wearing this gear during these strange times. We want people walking around saying, hey, I believe future looks bright. And getting the reaction from other people when you wear that shirt, we have some stuff that we haven't given away. We're continuing this. We sold out of a couple of our hats, by the way, uh, on Tuesday. Instantly, three hats sold out. But anybody that buys any of these gears, Rob, can we show this on the camera so people can see it? Pick any one of these hats. And one of the future looks bright shirts. Okay, go a little lower. You got the purple one. You got the white one. Pick any of these trucker hats for some of you guys. I want the Vitamin logo with U.S. flag next to it. We also got the PBD podcast hat there as well. You pick the black or white future looks bright hat. Choose any of these combination hat and a shirt. You do next week. What we're doing is we'll be giving away uh, one of the Ryan Garcia signed gloves, a Trevor Bauer signed ball. And five signed Choose Your Enemies Wisely live next Thursday, next Tuesday at the end of the podcast for home team. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.